Okay, so we're going to add and subtract some negative numbers here. So the first problem that I want to do is negative 5 plus 11. So I have a number line here to help me, and I'm going to start at negative 5 because that's the first part of my problem. And then the 11 is positive, so I'm going to move into positive direction 11 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I land on 6, so my answer is 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and try a different one. Let's try negative 9 plus 6. So my first number in my problem is negative 9, so I'm going to start there. And then 6 is positive, so I'm going to go in the positive direction, 6 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I land on negative 3, so my answer is negative 3. Let's try to get another one. So this time let's do 12 plus negative 7. So 12 is my first number in my problem, so I'll start at 12 on the number line. And then 7 is negative, so I'm going to go in the negative direction, 7 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I land on 5, so my answer is 5. Okay, let's try one more and then see what we can learn from the problems that we did. Let's try 3 plus negative 4. So 3 is my first number in my problem, so I'll start there. And then 4 is negative, so that tells me I'm going to go in the negative direction. 4 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I land on negative 1. Okay, so if I go back and I look and see what happened with these problems. Um, I noticed that to get the answer for this first one of 6, what I would actually do with those numbers is 11 minus 5 gives me the 6. And then for the next problem, um, I would do 9 minus 6 gets me the 3. For this problem, 12 minus 7 gets me the 5. And for this problem, 4 minus 3 gets me the 1. So the way that I just get the number part of my answer is I subtract the larger number from the smaller number, but then I just need to figure out what happens with the sign. Okay, so let's go back to this first problem. Let's find negative 5 on the number line and 11 on the number line. And here is 0. Which one is farther away from 0? The 11 is farther away from 0, and it's positive, so my answer should be positive. Okay, and the next one there was negative 9 and positive 6. Which one is farther away from the number, or from the 0? And the negative 9 is, so the answer is negative. Okay, and the next one. I have um, positive 12, negative 7, here's 0. The 12 is farther away from 0, so the answer is positive. And then the, the last one I have here um, is a 3 and a negative 4. And the negative 4 is farther away from 0, so the answer is negative. So basically, when I have one number that's positive and one that's negative, I go ahead and just subtract the numbers. And then I use the sign of the number that is the farthest from zero. Okay, and that'll work every time, whether you have um, big numbers or little numbers, as long as one is positive and one is negative. 
Okay, so let's go over here where you don't have a number line and let's do negative 35 um, plus negative, or I'm sorry, positive 11. So I don't have my number line, but I know I just I have one of each sign, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract them. So that gives me 24. And then I just need to figure out the sign. And negative 35 is going to be much farther away from 0 than positive 11, so I'm going to use its sign, and the answer is negative. If I have negative 14 and positive 16, I just go ahead and subtract those numbers. My answer is 2, and 16 is farther from 0 than negative 14, so the answer is positive. Okay, so that works when you have one of each sign. Well, what happens if you have both of them are the same sign? So let's go back over here where the number line is, and we'll just go ahead and, and erase these problems that we had, and try some problems that um, both signs are the same. Okay, got everything erased there. So let's try negative 3 plus negative 7. So I'm going to find negative 3 on my number line. And then the negative 7 means I'm going to go in a negative direction, 7 spaces. Oops, that's not a negative direction. I'm going to go in a negative direction, 7 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I land on negative 10. Okay, let's try another one. Negative 5 plus negative 6. So I'm going to start at negative 5. And I'm going to go in a negative direction because that's 6 is negative. 6 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the answer is negative 11. So if I look at what happened this time when the signs are the same, for this first problem, 3, 7, and 10, the way I get that is to add the numbers. 5, 6, and 11, I need to add the numbers. And then each time I kept the sign of negative. So when both of them are negative, I just go ahead and add the numbers and use the sign of negative. Okay, so that's all you need to do when you're adding and subtracting um, negative numbers.